Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom patterns and brushes within Adobe Illustrator. So to get started we're going to open up Illustrator and here you can see I just have a blank document and the first step in creating your pattern or brush is to actually take and make your pattern. So I'm just going to be using some red squares um, and rectangles and I'm just going to grab my um, rectangle tool here and I'm just going to draw out um, a simple pattern. So we can just use some shapes like that and we can make our pattern out of this. So the first thing to do is to get your swatches panel and your brushes panel out. Now if you don't have these in the side or out like this you can take and go up to window and then come down to brushes and down to swatches and pull them out like that. And if they're off in the side you can actually take and just pull them off of their palette uh, in order to have them by themselves. So these are the two that we're going to be using. So once you have your uh, pattern created and you have these windows open, you're going to need to just grab your selection tool and select everything that you want to be in your pattern. And we're just going to take and drag right into the swatches. And you'll see that it'll kind of highlight in there and then there'll be kind of like a little cursor. You're just going to drop it right in there. So now you can see it's created a brand new pattern right there. You can see new pattern swatch 2. That is the pattern that we just created. And so while I'm, uh, I have this pattern still up here, I'm going to take and make it into a brush as well. So I'm just going to take and drag that down into the brushes, and you can see it behaves in a similar way. There's a little cursor kind of right there on the side of the brushes, and we'll just drop it in there, and it'll say scatter brush, art brush, or pattern brush. Now each of these are a little bit different. Uh, I'm just going to go with scatter brush and click OK and it'll bring up some options. Again, these are different for each of those different types. Um, you can play with the rotation and how much it scatters and the spacing and everything like that. Um, so I'm not going to go through all that. I'll let you guys take a look at that on your own. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to click OK. And so now if we scroll through here, we should see our pattern right there, um, our scatter brush. So I'm just going to take and delete this. And so now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to actually use your pattern first. So we're going to take and we're just going to make a, just take and make some kind of gray rectangle here so that we can add our pattern to that. All right, so we have a nice shape here. I just use the rectangle tool to draw that out. And so now what we're going to do is select that rectangle and then we're just going to click on our swatch and it'll actually take and fill that with our pattern. Now if you actually want space around your pattern, um, you can see how it's actually touching. Um, you're going to need to compensate for that when you make your pattern and um, use a clipping mask in order to keep some space within there. Um, but for most purposes, this should work for you. So if you actually want to take, um, if you use Photoshop's patterns, um, if you use their um, little FX button that they have on the layers, you can actually take and scale the pattern within uh, Photoshop. So Illustrator does have a feature like that. Um, you can take and go up to Object, Transform, and then Scale, and you can scale it in here and make sure that Patterns is checked to On. But what I would recommend doing is taking going to the scale tool, which is right here, and the shortcut is S, and you can take and hold the tilde key, which is right next to your one key, and you can start scaling and then hold the tilde key, and basically you can scale your pattern like that. So make sure that you're holding that key, and then you can scale your pattern um, and make it bigger or smaller, however you want. So that's basically how you can take and apply the pattern and kind of customize it out a little bit. And so I'm just going to take and delete that. And so the other thing that I was showing you was the custom brush. And so basically you just select your brush um, within the palette just like you would any other brush. Then you would take and go to your brush tool, which is shortcut B, and it's right here in the toolbar. And then basically all you need to do is take and just draw, and your pattern will um, take and follow that. So by making a scatter brush, um, you can just take and do whatever you really want, um, and you can get some pretty cool uh, results by doing that. So you can adjust the size um, with like the stroke up here and some other um, effects, as well as when you first created it, those um, different settings you can use in there are also helpful in getting the look that you're going for. But you can easily take and create some pretty cool and dynamic things, um, especially um, if you tweak those settings. So I hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but if you didn't know how to do it, then um, it could be a little problematic. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.